In 2011, Franklin Pierce University created the Honorable Walter R. Peterson Citizen Leader Award to acknowledge Walter Peterson's commitment to public service and to higher education. Governor Peterson, who died in 2011, was well known throughout the Granite State and at Franklin Pierce. Walter was the second and longest serving president at the university and had the reputation of walking around campus in his sneakers and greeting people by name. He often would memorize his Rolodex of student names and photographs and greet new students by name, startling them. Walter was known for being generous with his time and his advice. When I arrived at Franklin Pierce, Walter greeted me and offered to meet with me anytime I wished. Until shortly before his death, Walter and I would have lunch every few months when he would share some history of Franklin Pierce College or University, a story about one of the many dynamics in state government or the name of a person of influence whom I should meet, often at his introduction. Walter was a longtime friend to Franklin Pierce University and an important friend to me as the new university president. Franklin Pierce created the award to recognize a New Hampshire individual who has demonstrated a commitment to public service and support for New Hampshire, for New Hampshire higher education, someone who possesses a good sense of humor and is a person of high moral character. When I approached Peter, the Petersons a few years ago with the idea of the award, Walter, in his characteristic humble way, said, it's just not necessary. But Dorothy said it was a very nice thing to do. And with that endorsement, I knew it was the right thing to do. I'm delighted today to bestow upon Mr. Paul Holloway, with great honor and respect, the 2013 Walter R. Peterson Citizen Leader Award. Thank you, President Birch, honored guests, faculty, graduating class, and guests of all persuasions. The Walter Peterson Award is very special to me and to my family because Walter Peterson was somebody who inspired me, who gave me confidence, who challenged me, and a person who I worked with for about 40 years of my life. Soon after I moved to New Hampshire, Walter, then governor, stopped at one of our offices one day and we got into a conversation about higher education in the state of New Hampshire. And for him, higher education was very, very important to this state. And all he wanted to do was try to make it better. His principles, integrity, and commitment were clear. And I agreed with him on many of his goals. So for the next 40 years, Walter and I had a great relationship working in ed education. I worked with the governor when he was governor and I was on the board of trustees at the university because he put me there. Um, I don't know why at the time, but he said, it was time, and uh, we continue to work together while he was president here at Franklin Pierce University, and in recent years, he served on the board of the community colleges, which I've been fortunate enough to be chairman of. It was kind of an interesting uh, dichotomy because Walter used to say, I don't understand how this happened, Paul. You're the chairman and I'm working for you, but Walter was so unique in many ways. When Walter Peterson spoke, people listened. Walter had the unique ability to bring people together at a table, and he didn't care who you were, he didn't care what your political beliefs were, he could make you focus, and he could make you work to solve a problem. And he did it in such a way that people got up and they were glad to have served on that committee with him. For Walter Peterson, serving was a way of life, and no challenge was too great for him to tackle. Walter never said no. He was always there for anybody who asked him to help. So when we look at the future, 
you have some big challenges ahead of you, the graduating class. You can look at our generation and we've left you with a lot of them. Some of these challenges are really huge and they really trouble me. For instance, too many children go to bed hungry in this country and the number continues to grow. That's not acceptable and we have to change it. We've allowed our political climate to deteriorate into gotcha politics and that doesn't work. We have a growing national debt and the economy is still recovering. For some of you, you'll go on into more education. Others will enter the work field, workforce. I want to tell you, neither of you are through learning because as technology continues to gallop forward, you have to stay current or they'll leave you behind. So you're just beginning to learn because it's going to be out there for you. And these problems won't be served all at once. But you have to be willing to put forth the effort that Walter Peterson did. The challenge is up to you. You're going to have to become involved in your community, your state, and even the nation. Because it's not going to get fixed unless you people are willing to step forward. You're going to have to be willing to speak your mind and make a difference. And with all of that said, don't forget Franklin Pierce University. Look at what it's done for you. You're going to have to speak about it. You're going to have to do the PR on it. And you're going to have to write a check to it. Don't forget that. It's very, very important. And I would ask you all to remember one other thing. This is your day. And I know everybody's pumped up and I saw somebody lose a beach ball already and you know, it, it happens. But remember to say thank you to the people that helped get you here. Because every one of you, somebody's helped you. Whether it's a family, member of your family or a friend or a faculty member. You know, those two words, thank you, go a long way. And they'll mean a lot to the person you say it to. So don't forget that today, please. Walter Peterson represented all that is great about our state and our nation. He never wavered from his principles, but more importantly, he always put the needs of people first. He always thought about what's good for people. In my opinion, that's a mark of a great man. He was an extraordinary, extraordinary human being. He just was unbelievable. And Walter Peterson, to win this award, means so much to me, and I really appreciate it. I wish you all good luck and congratulations. Thank you.